Hi, this is Tim. There's three very important terms you need to understand in RS Logix 500 when it comes to communication. Upload, download, and online. Getting those confused can make for a really bad day. Note this is an excerpt from a live stream, so it is not perfect. And then we're going to go over here to RS Logix 500. And again, while it's changed a little bit, we still have communications. And then we have, in this case, it's system communications. And this is going to give you all your options again. And then we're going to have our MicroLogix 1400. Only this notice, this time we didn't get a communications timeout. We have the go online button. So I'm just going to hit the go online. And then you're going to end up with this prompt right here. And I'm going to show you later on. I really, I really appreciate this prompt more than I do in the um, newer softwares. It's first we can cancel. We can create a new file. We can upload use file or we can browse. And so what this means is the file that we have open, and of course I started with no file open, doesn't match what it sees here in the processor. And so when well, we can cancel, and yeah, you know, here's one of those times if you're really not sure what going online means, cancel and hit the um, help button. But then we can create a new file. And but the one here that also we have is browse. And so if we think we have an offline copy of the file, then we could navigate here, find it, and go online. Now, I don't have an offline copy of this file. So we want to hit this upload use file, but it's grayed out. And that's because we need to create a file to do it. So I'm going to create a file. And you see it says uploading processor image. And there you go. Now we are online with it. And that little split second, it did upload. Now, we didn't actually talk yet about upload and download, and this is by far the most dangerous thing a new person does. Is you know, we, we've, got, um, we've got our Spotify, we've got all these apps and all these things, and you know, we're like, yeah, I'm going to download some music so I can listen to it while I'm offline. And so mentally, we're always thinking that we need to download something from something else. And you know, if we want to if we want to upload our music to the cloud, then yeah, that means we're sending it somewhere. Well, the the PLC world is the opposite. So we download a program to the PLC. In other words, we take our program that's on our PC and we overwrite whatever's in the PLC. And there's no undo button to this. We upload our program from the PLC. So if you walk up on a machine and you're like, I don't have a copy of the file, then you need to upload the program. Do not download. And there is a little bit of a warning. Let's go ahead and go through this. So I'm going to go offline with this one. In fact, I haven't even done this in a while in RSLogix 500. I don't use it often now, but all right, we're going to go offline. Yep, we're going to save our changes. And right there looks great. And okay, and even here, well, let's save that. So we'll upload the processor image. And then now we're offline. So I'm going to go to communications and system communication. And yep, we found our PLC and we're going to hit the download button because we think we want to download our program from the PLC. And it kind of says here, downloading program. And it says first pro to and then it's telling you about the PLC here over this driver. Are you sure you want to proceed with download? Pay attention to this and make sure you know what you want to do. But just in time, you'll learn. Unfortunately, you'll probably learn the hard way is if you download, you're going to overwrite your program. Click here for our free Allen Bradley PLC lessons. Till next time.